You're about to see our special report, Expanded Bilderberg Coverage from 2011. The following video is an InfoWars Insider exclusive. If you'd like to subscribe to the free weekly InfoWars Insider, simply go to InfoWars.com and look for the yellow banner at the right-hand corner of the site to sign up for free to receive your InfoWars Insider. In June of 2011, Infowars.com, investigative journalist Aaron Dykes and Paul Watson traveled to St. Moritz, Switzerland to cover the elusive Bilderberg Group. Demonstrators and activist media from around the world descended on the mountain village to confront the globalist kingpins. With more coverage than ever in the global media, Veteran Bilderberg tracker Jim Tucker and others concurred with our analysis. The 2011 was a watershed event, a total implosion of the Bilderberg Group's cover-up. Jim, can you talk about how long you've been covering Bilderberg, and what do you think about all the young patriots who are now confronting them wherever they go? It's wonderful. I first started chasing them in 1975. Well, physically, about 1980, we had reporters working on it before, but. I couldn't, wasn't satisfied there for, with their work, so I did it myself. I signed myself to cover Bilderberg. Yes, it's gotten better every year uh, because when I first started covering those kids, I'd be the only guy there. The armored with lots of these vehicles were going in, but not out. Yeah, somebody's coming. <laughs> yes, great patriots here. And it's so ironic that, well, we've met in Switzerland three times before, three or four times previously over the many years, never in St. Marie, this first time in St. Marie. And I think it's so ironic that they're meeting in Switzerland, which is a nation of patriots, and they're being confronted and embarrassed by the patriots from Switzerland, which is uh, good. And every year it gets bigger and better. More young people are becoming aware uh, older patriots too. The uh, meeting out, walking outside of the grounds, I think, for the first time ever. Always before, once they get behind the saw horses and armed guards, they stay inside. Oh, they did walk around on some grounds that are far, far away, but none where you could actually speak to them and they could hear you. I think they probably decided that we need to reassure us since we've had all this horrible publicity in big newspapers and little newspapers and big and little, small broadcasters giving such heavy attention, we better make some kind of a public relations move. So we'll walk to this place and we'll smile at them. If they ask a question, if we could give them a sweet, a sweetheart answer, we'll respond graciously. If not, we will be unable to hear the question and be sorry, maybe a little wave. So I th think that was a, a, another case of them b being forced to do something they would not normally do to confront the fact that there's so, such increasing public awareness that a lot of them are in great political danger for even being Bilderberg. Already we've seen leading members of Congress used to always attend the Speaker of the House, uh, representatives, ranking senators uh, would attend. Now they don't dare because they get mail from their own constituents saying if you uh, do business with uh, these criminals in, anymore, we'll never vote for you again. We'll vote for anybody else. And they've been politically frightened out of the ballgame. They're already long gone. There it goes. It's taking off right now. Yeah. Obviously they're getting high 